Hey everyone, welcome to Superhero Deep Dive's weekly meme review. You laugh, you lose. So, last week, we started implementing the Laugh You Lose challenge. If you lost, you had to state what your favorite MCU moment was. This week, who has the best costume? Who has the best cover? I don't care if it's Marvel. I don't care if it's DC. I don't care if it's Image. I don't care if it's Malibu. I don't care if it's um, Ultra Comics. Let me know in the comments. It'll be great. It'll be a lot of fun. Personally, I've always been a big fan of Darkhawk from, from the Marvel Universe. Probably my all-time favorite costume. I'm Because I know I'm going to laugh. I'm going to lose. Might as well just suck it up and take it, right? But let's get into the first meme. All right, so I protect a paperweight. I got powers from a paperweight. I love collecting paperweights. We once held the plate a paperweight and became guardians of the galaxy. A part of me was a paperweight. I lost 70 years of my life for a paperweight. Yeah, that's that kind of takes the that kind of takes the cake there. 70 years is a long time to be frozen. Um, that's when you get that permafrost. It just doesn't go away. Ice cream is ruined. Um, meat's no good. It's too much. Too long. All right. This woman has an amazing talent where she can talk in almost any accent almost perfectly. If she gets rejected by a blind man, she can just come back with a new voice and they won't notice. <laughs> there you go. I just lost. He's out of line, but he's right. That's true. That's true. I wonder if I wonder if even Mac Murdock would be able to pick it up. If she changed her tone, her inflection, and spoke with a different accent. Hmm. See ultimate second chance. Maybe third, maybe fourth. Who knows? Alright. The UK with their cams, the USA with their cams, and Asgard with their cams. And it's Heimdale. Sorry, I had to put my phone on mute. <laughs> we got Heimdall from Asgard. Fun fact, in the first Thor movie, he does not blink in any scenes he's in. It's because Heimdall sees everything. So I thought that was kind of cool. Alright. Nine-year-old me to my parents after they tell me to relax after I've just witnessed my Minecraft dog jump into lava. Relax yourself there. <laughs> it's true. And... My son just told me that they, um, they, Minecraft is updating and they're adding armadillos. Like that one, some kind of online voting. He's really excited about it. So why don't we just do that like when I just witnessed my Minecraft armadillo jump into lava. Relax yourself there. <laughs> Alright. Companies, when they have record breaking profits and their employees start asking for a livable wage. Pizza time! I, I won't lie, I have I have fallen for the pizza pizza party gimmick as well. But pizza's so good. I was like, I want I want to feel bad about it, but pizza's so good. It is. It's so so good. All right, mom, clean your room. It's my room. I do whatever I want. It's my house. Then you go clean it. Gosh, that man. My backside hurts. My backside hurts from that. Pack your things. Get out of my building. Just go. The only J. Jonah Jameson. <laughs> in the live action. In the live action world. Mm-mm. That did not work. Um, in fact, every Saturday morning when I was growing up, I would be woken up to Journey. The band Journey. Played on the record player stereo system as loud as possible because it was time to clean every Saturday. All right, let's move on. Me seeing Chuck E. Cheese's new promotional posters. Five Nights of Fun, and then you have Five Nights at Freddy's. I was looking through some old photos and it looks very uh, familiar. It does. Gosh, that's a, just... But you know, I mean, that's what Chuck E. Cheese's does, right? You can't be mad. It's for it's for the kids. All right. <laughs> Kamala's so relatable. 
I love that look that she has. She's just so excited to be there. She's just so excited to be there. All right. You either die a hero or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. No. No, I don't think I will. Man, Captain America's so wise. Good job, Steve. You're a good man through and through, and you stayed a good man through and through. All right. Oh. <laughs> this guy looks like every single Spider-Man actor put together. Doesn't he, though? Doesn't he? Like, you can see, you can see the Tobey Maguire. You can see the Andrew Garfield. You can definitely see the Tom Holland. Man. Yeah, he does. He looks so much like all of them just kind of mashed up, but not in a good way. Sorry. Not sorry. All right, let's keep going. We got more coming. Spider-Man 2's MJ. This is the official look of Mary Jane in Spider-Man 2. You telling me I got to throw hands with Venom and come home to this? You know, she's. it's not that she's unattractive in the game, but that's not... That's not how Mary Jane was depicted in the comics or in the um, in the cartoons or any other media. Like the Mary Jane, that's that's probably the least effective Mary Jane. Um, it is. But you know she, you know who she reminds me of? Um, the actress that played the young girl in like The Last of Us and Joel State from Firefly. If you do that. That's what you got. Maybe. I think. Hopefully. Kinda. Sorta. Eh, you know. Alright. This happened when Cap met himself. There was an epic fight. Shield against shield. What if Tony met himself? Hey me. Let's take the world's richest selfie. It would be. It would be. That's actually... That's pretty good how they... How they put the pictures together. That's... I like that one. Good job. Good job person who did the memes good job super memes all right so anybody know what actually happened to that councilwoman all right that's when scarlet wit or scarlet with scarlet johansson um black widow she pulled off the the mask and you know revealed herself to be her so yeah what happened what happened to that that councilwoman because she wasn't there. Was she Was she held captive? Was she out sick that day and they kind of planned it? Was she, did she have car trouble and um, just didn't show up? Like, what happened to her? And, and, and that leads to other questions, too. Like, if she called out sick and they were like, oh, good, we planned this. Like, we planned for her to be sick this day so we could be here. What did they do to the secretary that she called out to to let them know she wasn't going to be there today? Like... It's not necessarily a plot hole, but there, there are questions to be asked. <laughs> All right. When I eat a bag of trail mix and leave the raisins. Yeah, I'm, I'm guilty of this. I'm guilty of this. Uh, trail mix. What is your trail mix preference? Like your order of eating. Mine's M&M's, Chex Mix. Um, that includes like the pretzels, the extra like rye crack. Oh man, the rye crackers are awesome. Um, stuff like that. Nuts. Raisins. I don't know if I'm missing anything. Um, but if I am, they're probably before the raisins. Possibly before the the, the nuts. <laughs> but yeah. Alright. Alright, this is Spider-Man at the Sinister Six, right? They're all hovering over him. The Avengers, Defenders, Hero for Hire, and S.H.I.E.L.D., Looking strong, Pete! <laughs> Dude, he fights them on a regular basis all by himself. Kudos to you, Peter Parker. You are looking strong. Alright. So, you have the actor who plays Doc Ock. He's with Aunt May here. He's with Aunt May there. He's with Aunt May there. All those different movies. I think the I think the one with the Tobey Maguire on May was like a premiere picture or something. But you see him. Hello, nephews. He is the real Uncle Ben. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Kamala is so great. Kam the actress that plays Kamala is an absolute gem. 
Um, she's, from what I understand, she's active on Reddit. She, she, her first cosplay was Miss Marvel. She got to play Miss Marvel in the series, which I thought the series was pretty good. She's in a movie with the other Marvels as Miss Marvel. And she actually got to write an X-Men book um, for Miss Marvel, where she turned into a mutant. Excellent. Excellent. I, I wish you all the success. Because you are... You are a geek princess. Alright. <laughs> the Fantastic Four movie. It's free. Just get it the F out of the store. <laughs> it's true. It's so true. The, the, the movie... The movie wasn't terrible. Like, as far as movies goes... No, as far as superhero movies goes... It wasn't great. It was it was pretty bad. But as far as movies in general go, it wasn't terrible. But it could be better. Just get it out of the store. Just just let us clear out that inventory. It's taking up shelf space. All right. This is pretty cool. I put a half size PVC clamps together and wore it. It looks like a sling green. That's awesome. You need to you need to spray paint it gold. Um, maybe, maybe do some, um, like get like a wood burning kit because they're really cheap or even just some, maybe an exacto knife or something and etch little etchings in there before you paint it. And you've got a cosplay prop right there. Good job to you. Kudos. All right. Oh, this is awesome. Oscar Isaac, who played Moon Knight, says he's never been more proud of a project he's done Moon Knight was pretty cool. Um, one of my one of my great friends is a huge Moon Knight fan. Um, in fact, we actually did a superhero deep dive on Moon Knight. You should check it out because it's got a cool song by the Goth Sickles for Moon Knight. But yeah, this is this is really cool. He's such a huge fan, and he loved the series. Oscar Isaac did a great job. All right. <laughs> if you ever feel useless just remember that Thor the god of thunder got electrocuted that's right I should have made that my thumbnail yes this dude has lightning coursing through his veins and he gets electrocuted how does that happen I don't know but the face is worth it all right we got Shrek and Fiona at 144p, Hulk and Black Widow at 1080p. What would be the next one? What would be the 4K? What would be the 4K version? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe maybe it'll be shown in like when um, Phase Four and Phase Five are fully off the ground and running. All right. Okay, here we go. Charlie Cox turned down job offers because he thought Daredevil Season 4 would happen. He really loves being Matt Murdock, and he deserves so much better. I agree. I agree. He did a fantastic job as Matt Murdock in Daredevil. And to turn down job offers, like you're turning down hundreds of thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, maybe even millions... For the possibility of the next season of Daredevil. That's dedication. That is that is someone that they have enough money, they're fine with what they have, and they are just like, I love this character and I'm gonna play it. Kudos. Awesome. You, my guy, are amazing. Alright. Best part of Black Panther. 2018 is Shuri calling Everett a colonizer despite Wakanda doing absolutely nothing to stop the empires while having a massive technological advantage. Don't scare me like that colonizer. Oh man the truth hurts. But you know it was it was a funny scene, it was a funny line. I'm I'm can't even be offended at it. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> Say, so, yeah. It look. Where's Thor's hammer going? Steve Rogers has held it. Um, Thor, you know he's reaching for it too. 
this is cool. I like that. Like, what? Where do I go? What do I do? All right. Oh, I am guilty of this so much. This one hurts. This one hits right here, here in the heart. How I think I'm smiling when I see my crush. You know, you got to look smooth. How I actually look. Yeah, my wife makes fun of me for that. But she's my wife. She's the love of my life. And I'm proclaiming it in front of all of YouTube. All right. Me and my presentation. I'm Peter Man. I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm Spider Parker. Crap. <laughs> I get that way too. Sometimes we stumble over our words. It just happens. What can you do? It happens to all of us. All right. We got Toby. I have Trilogy. Tom, I joined the Avengers. But Andrew Garfield, I was never hit by a train. Beat that, Mamma Jammas. Oh, this is great. I love it. And I love the actual chemistry that the three had together um, when they were on screen. Really, really good. Like, it was, it was a really genuine good chemistry. I liked it. All right. <laughs> when you put on headphones with no music playing so you can avoid any social interaction. It's a simple swell or it's a simple spell, but quite unbreakable. <laughs> it's true. It's true. It's true. I've been out jogging and I've had the music, I've had it turned off. Um, when I was walking by like a neighbor's house. Just so I could avoid talking to them because they see the ear ear pieces in, the earbuds. Yeah. All right, so the movie, behind the scenes. You know, Black Widow movie wasn't bad. Um, I really think if it came out when it was supposed to come out, instead of being delayed over and over and over and over and over and over and over again, it would have done much, much better. I think too much time passed for it to be as effective as it was, but it wasn't a bad movie by any means. I enjoyed it. But looks like... That's all I've got for today. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell for future episodes. I upload all the time. So please be a part of the community. Like I said, if you laughed at any of these, you have to tell us in the comments below who has the best costume in the Marvel Universe, DC Universe, Image, Malibu, Ultraverse, I don't care. Who has the best costume? What's your favorite costume in comics? I want to know. Let other people know. Let's have a discussion about it in the, in the comments. Just be respectful. I think it's going to do it for me today. Everyone, be blessed. Be happy. Be safe. Be smart. But if you're not smart, don't get caught. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.